Hey there folks, now did you know there are 86 tools inside of Illustrator? Over here on the far left hand side, this lovely long column of tools. Now all of them are easy to find and you know I've been using Illustrator for well you know too many years and I care to remember but even now I still get confused sometimes where some of the tools are. So you can make your own. But first of all, I just want to show you what happens with the newer versions inside of Illustrator. So if you're working and you open up Illustrator for the first time and you're using the Essentials workspace, which looks like this, you'll get an abbreviated set of tools because it's the Essentials workspace and it thinks that you only need the essential tools. So, you know, it's quite handy if um, you're new to Illustrator and you want to find those kind of key tools to work with. They're there in the tools panel. It does miss, however, some really good tools like the free transform and things like that. But if you wanted to get that full set of tools, then you go to the window menu, go down to toolbars and you can choose advanced. And that would give you the full set of illustrated tools inside of there. So how do you make your own tools panel? Well, if you go to window, go down to toolbars uh, and in here you can choose new toolbar. It will ask you to give it a name, so I'm going to call mine uh, Builder. And then it will create a teeny tiny tools panel here. So let me just show you these side by side. It's obviously the original one on the left hand side and my new one. So the first thing to say is if you try and add tools in here by clicking on the plus, which you would kind of think you should do, it doesn't do anything. You have to click on the ellipses at the bottom to edit the toolbar. And then you're given a list which roughly matches the position of all the available tools as you would find them in the main tools panel. So if you wanted to add the zoom tool, notice it's right down the bottom of the original tools panel. You'd have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you'll find it down there. So it does roughly match the position of where they are in the main tools panel. So to add a tool, well, in here, I'm just going to make sure that these are all kind of building and drawing tools. So I'll click and drag the pen tool up and onto that panel. And that's my first tool in there. And it also then becomes active. You can add other tools as well. So obviously in here, if I want to go to my anchor point tool, click and drag that. If you want to put it as a separate tool in a separate location, just hover it at the bottom edge of the existing tool that you've dropped in there. In my case, it was a pen tool. And then the tools panel will just extend a bit further and give you room to drop it in. So when you left click the mouse or let go of the left mouse button, it drops it in there. Now, if you accidentally click and drag and drop a tool on an existing one that you've put in there. So if I put the curvature tool on top of the pen tool, that makes it a sub tool in there. So you'd have to click and hold down to reveal either one of those tools. And if that's not what you want, then it's a little bit tricky getting them out. So if you try and click and drag and pull them out of this pop out list, it will not work. It's you're going to find it really hard. My suggestion is whichever tool you want to move, make sure you click on that one and then it's visible here and then you click and drag and you move it somewhere around in here. So you notice as I'm moving it a different position. It tells me where I can drop it. So if I let go here, it drops it there and you can rearrange these. You can drag and move them around at any time to rearrange them. So if I'm just going to follow this theme and just add some more kind of drawing and building tools inside of here, um, let's go for maybe the rectangle tool and then the polygon tool inside of here. Um, you can just keep adding whichever ones you want, really. If you add one by accident. So if I say, for example, add my polar grid tool in there by accident to remove it, then what you do is you hover over that tool click and hold down and drag it away. You'll see a minus and that just removes it from the panel. And it's still available to drag and drop in there whenever you want to. Final thing to say then really on building this is that down at the bottom, you've got these show options, which is for everything that you find at the bottom of the tools panel. Do you want to show the fill and stroke that adds it in there? If you don't click back on it again, or you can change the properties for the color, for the fill, the stroke and those kind of things. You've got the drawing modes and then the uh, screen modes as well. I'm going to leave mine just set with these tools in here. And then when you're done, well, then click at the top of the tools panel, that pop out disappears. And then in the future, if you want to, you can always edit this by going back to the same button. If you want to rename it, go back to window toolbars and then you can choose manage toolbars where you can click on one, change its name and click OK. Or you can, in fact, you can delete one inside of there or add a new one as well and start building. So I'm going to click cancel in there for now. But that's how you do it, folks. That's how you create your own tools panel. If you want to make tools that you use on a regular basis, easier to find, because after all, there are 86. That's how you do it. Thanks for watching, folks. And until next time, farewell.